Not done a very good job again of keeping up to date with this. I need to get better at that, but back again. Hello. I've gone back down the few, uh, beach a few times again. Try not to go when it would have been stupidly busy and things. Like, I understand we've been locked in for months and it's nice to go out and enjoy the weather and it's pretty. But when you see a small beach with 200, 300 people on and they're sitting shoulder to shoulder, you're thinking well, there is a pandemic. One of you can have the infection and then you've just passed it to everyone. You go to a beach, you see someone or you see a load of people. Just go five more minutes down the coastline. There'll be more beaches, there'll be more space. You're going to do the same activities, have the same amount of fun, less chance of the coronavirus. Anyway, on a hat, took a few more photos, been editing them. Um, I just wanted to talk to you today about some of the photos, some of the work, and how it's been going. Nice, not just standing on the shore, but properly sort of hip height deep. So, how do you get your cameras in the water? You might have noticed I'm playing with a GoPro. Um, GoPros are really good for that. The only downside is the limitations of what you can shoot in terms of settings and variations. The Hero 9 and thing, not Hero 9, that's not that, the Hero 8, Hero 7, uh, GoPro, I think it's called Max or something, it's a 360 anyway, are all really nice to use, but they're built in lenses with, some of them have digital crops and changes you can do to change the field, but they're all inbuilt, they're all very much automatic with a few setting change. So you can't photograph someone who's miles away, you can't photograph someone who's middle distance. They're not really landscape cameras. They are for the action side, getting things up close and personal. But for just getting in the water, if you've got swimming friends, this thing, beautiful, lovely. Recommend it 100%. Lovely job, lovely job. Um, but what I've been using, or what I've used before currently, and what I used when I was back out in Greece, was a diker pack bag, this thing. Uh, it doesn't come with a tinfoil hat, it's not for finding aliens or conspiracy theories or any of that nonsense. Uh, it's got a few micro tears in it, little tiny splits that can't really see when it's just as it is. It is what it is. It had a few holes in it and that was letting in water just slowly in a little bit but that obviously then gets on the camera, kills the camera and that's not fun. So I found this sellotape that you normally use for plumbing and things like that and I've just sort of mummified the bag and then you know dunked it in the water and it works completely fine so you are going to get one they do work really well I've had this three four years without problems and I've taken it in the sea in the pool to Greece and it's only where it's dried out been bumped around so many times that it has torn and split um, Lens wise, again, this comes down to a similar issue in terms of the GoPro, just with a few more variants. So, you obviously have your digital camera inside, whether that's a DSLR, mirrorless, or compact, it's sort of built for all. But if you're shooting on a small compact, that sort of size, you can get smaller bags, which are just as useful. And you don't have to go with Diker Pack, you can go with just a Amazon official. But I find these are quite thick plastic, reasonably rugged, reasonably hold up well. Um, yeah, but sits in the bag, you can see through a little bit, needs a bit of a clean, there's a bit of salt water on it, but you can see through it and that allows you to take photos. You've got limited control with a button. It's not as good as having proper housing for a camera. That sort of whole plastic shell of a body, not this like flimsy plastic, plastic bag material, but a proper solid, you know, almost body, camera body levels of plastic would help you keep the camera protected against knocks, bumps and water a lot better but on a cheaper end of scale which I'm working with at the moment this thing works beautifully. The lenses that I found work with this are the Sigma 35 art lens and that allows you to see with only every now and again a little tiny bit of the rim pokes in but only, that's you know usually croppable out without but I do recommend these bags this isn't a paid ad again, this is just me talking about my experience and things. But if Diker Pack want to send me some more, I'm not going to say no. Because I quite like this, I think they work really well. They're not in the same competition as waterproof housing or surf housing or underwater housing. 
a fun aspect of this. I wouldn't take this out to the surf in Hawaii or you know to the Mediterranean and go 40 meters under or even to the 10 meters. I wouldn't trust it at 10 meters with my DSLR in, but I will would take trust it on the beaches and in sort of you know just surface diving under. It's a really solid bag, it's quite nice. But that's how I've been getting in. Well, it's cheap, I'm not cheating, but it's just another way to get nice water shots without having to actually get wet, which is shoot at range. Again, I've talked about this lens in a previous video, but the Sigma 100 to 400 on a crop sensor camera, really nice, 550 millimeters. For shooting sports, you know, the further you can get without losing too much quality really helps. Um, again, ideally, I'd rather have a whole body housing, get in the water, surf, swim with it, but that's not within my price range or my work range at the moment. But it's a goal, we're gonna to work to it, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get some housing, we're gonna get in, might go into some more surfier waters, hopefully towards Cornwall at some point, which is really disappointing actually. Um, as you might have known from the video, me and Zoe were gonna to go to Cornwall, but the company's now gone bust for that, so might not be going now. We're trying to work out whether we can scratch the money together to go hopefully fingers crossed but yeah if we do go i'll take some more photos we'll make some video work it'll be interesting um going down soon again which i'll hopefully get some more video and shoot some more of that with this and show you because it's fun